on guys, thank you for clicking on the video. Please drop it a like if you end up enjoying this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new. Today we are going to my least favorite grocery store of all time and that is Aldi. Now, the reason I have historically not liked this place is for two reasons. One, you need a quarter to get a cart, which the quarter's not the big deal, right? It's that I never actually had the quarter, but our dear friend Alex actually pretty much owns Aldi more or less, and she gave us this guy right here. So you can never forget your quarter. Ah, oh, I lost it, hold on. The second reason I didn't like Aldi is because I didn't take credit cards, but apparently they have fixed that. So now we can go and enjoy this wonderful grocery store, or so I am told, and apparently they actually have some organic, free range, you know, grass fed, all of these healthy options so Megan can enjoy it as well. Let's go check it out. Okay guys, I'm trying not to get us kicked out of here, but you can see they even have a section of Aldi finds. The prices are amazing. Peppermint mocha cold brew for $2.29. I mean, some of this stuff is like half the cost. Now this is crazy guys. Ground bison for $7.99. I have never seen it that cheap ever. First time ever at Aldi. What do you think? <laughs> Overwhelmed. Overwhelmed? Your favorite grocery store ever? Cool. I like they don't, that they don't use bags. Yeah, yeah it's saving the environment. <laughs> All right, we'll get back home and show you exactly what we got. Okay guys, so our main objective was to get high quality foods and not spend a lot of money, which is what Aldi is known for. They are known for discounted foods. What I've always questioned is the quality, but what we have found and what we'll go over is they do have organic, you know, they have foods that will fit in anyone's diet. So I was very, very impressed with the prices. We got all of this food for right around $80, which is a much better deal than we would have gotten anywhere else that we typically shop. We either go to Harris Teeter, Whole Foods, or Trader Joe's. And I realized I just did a Trader Joe's haul in two videos ago, so apologize for all the groceries, but this one, a little bit different. So let me just run you through it. So you guys know a huge staple in my diet is cauliflower rice. This was $1.89 compared to $2.99 that we get at Harris Teeter or Wegmans. That's another store that we often go to. These Brussels sprouts was probably one of the greatest values that I found. You guys know I love Brussels sprouts, especially frozen because these are 85 cents. 85 cents for this pack of Brussels sprouts. That is unbelievable to me. I can't even believe it. Asparagus, another great deal. So this whole bag of asparagus, which is one of the most expensive vegetables, was right around $2.50. Incredible, guys. We got some frozen vegetables over here. Megan and I will use this in our dinners from time to time. Megan is a big fan of arugula. This is actually arugula and spinach mix. But again, organic, high quality foods. Very impressed by that. Over here, we got some fruits. Now the price on the fruit was much cheaper than the traditional stores that we go to. So the, the blueberries were actually on sale for $1.75, which is a fantastic deal. The raspberries were not on sale, but I think they were only a few bucks. Strawberries, since they're out of season, they're always gonna be more expensive, but for $2.50, that's right in line with the other stores as well. So for me, I like to mix up my fruits so I have a, a variety of micronutrients. These are my three favorites, in addition to bananas and pineapple. Over here, we got some few more vegetables. So I think Meg is actually gonna make us a veggie tray, which is gonna be awesome with some broccoli, some carrots, and we're going to use the cucumber, which she is pointing over at the camera to let me know, as well as this hummus. So this, I'm really excited for. It's gonna be great. I think you even got some organic hummus, didn't you? Gluten-free. Why would, is it all hummus gluten-free? <laughs> I don't know. The marketers just get you every single time, you know? So over here, we got some cage-free eggs. So as y'all see right here, we got the brown eggs, we got the healthy version. What's crazy about this is our favorite eggs are called Vital Farms. They are $5.99 a dozen, but they do taste better than any other brand we've ever found. I will give them that. These right here, $2.50. So if they taste as good, then it's probably gonna be worth it to go over to Aldi, pick these up, 
I'm a little bit skeptical. I'm a skeptic of all of this, to be honest with you, but we had to give it a try. We got some chicken. I don't even know if this happened to be organic, uh, cage-free chicken. So, you know, we want to make sure that it's it's from a good home, right? I talked to you guys about this bison in the store. I have never seen bison so cheap. Bison is so delicious. It's a lean cut of meat. You can do anything with it. I'm probably going to make bison burgers out of that, and it will be awesome. Megan found some sockeye salmon because in this household, we cannot eat farm-raised salmon. So it's a no-no. So we did find some salmon that meets Megan's criteria and I can tell you if it meets cameraman's criteria it meets anyone's criteria she is the strict one for sure we got some bagels over here these bagels were one dollar and fifty cents that's an amazing deal if you ask me and then some almond butter which is always expensive this was about four dollars and fifty cents not the greatest price but probably still a little bit cheaper my favorite Greek yogurt is called Dan and Light and Fit, so we picked this guy up. I don't know if it's going to taste as good. I'll be sure to let you guys know. Uh, we got some sugar-free oatmeal. Typically don't buy this, but just want to try out some Aldi brand foods. And then, I saved this for last. They have Aldi brand, essentially Halo Top, low-calorie ice cream for $2.99. Unless you find a great sale, you are not going to find that in the stores. Oh, I can't forget this either. I bought all of this shrimp just because it was seven bucks. All of this shrimp for seven bucks, I thought that that was a steal. So that was all the food that we got at Aldi. Again, right around $80 for everything, which if you're buying this much food, for us would probably be closer to 140 to 160, I would say is safe. Another hack I wanna share with you guys that we got at Home Goods avocado oil spray so this stuff is typically very expensive but at home goods they have this for very good prices they also have coffee syrups things like that so if you ever have a home goods and you're looking for some odds and ends it might be a good place to check out we're gonna put all this food away and get some breakfast because we did a, we made a mistake we went to the store hungry which is never a good idea so you can tell we have a beautiful breakfast here even more of a beautiful breakfast date and so what we did was we had Three whole eggs here, and you can tell, or at least I can tell, they're just not as golden as the Vital Farm. So this is the Aldi version. We'll see how they taste. We got some blueberry waffles with honey and some bacon. All around, just a well-balanced meal. They're good. Nothing wrong with them at all. But I'm telling you, something is just very special about Vital Farms. Now, is it worth three times the price? I guess that'll be up for y'all to decide. In much more exciting news, look at Alfie's cage. This is this is so beautiful, guys. I cannot wait for this little man to be running in and out of this thing. It's going to be so, so awesome. He's got all these toys that Meg bought him. She designed this fancy, bougie penthouse for him. This guy. And that is going to wrap up the Aldi portion of this video. So please leave your feedback down below. Do you shop at Aldi? If so, are there certain things we should be looking for? Do they have certain items that are better deals than others? If you don't shop there, is there a reason? Are you like me and the quarter was just preventing you from ever showing up? Let us know in the comments down below. You guys can check out the comments and probably get some ideas for yourselves. I figured since this video was short and sweet, what we would do for the back half of the video, in case anyone is interested, is I will go over my Black Friday pickups because I got all these boxes piled up in the office that I got to get through today. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around. If not, I appreciate you guys for being here, but I'm going to head to the gym and when we get back, I will be going into all of that. Uh, what? The plant right here. Why are you so insistent on the plant? I like the plant. Look behind us. What do we have? We finally have a couch. If you didn't watch last week's clickbait, you really missed out and they would not know what's going on. They wouldn't. But this couch is beautiful. Megan is happy. We are all good. Megan was wondering what this is doing on the coffee table and I was like, obviously it's product placement. But got a lot of stuff from Black Friday, so we're just going to run through it box by box. Okay guys. Here's what we have so far. The mailman is downstairs, so I'm hoping I've got two more packages ready to go, but you know, when they're putting everything in the boxes, you can't go over there. So we're gonna start with the Cole Hans. These are my favorite dress shoes, and I picked these up for... <gasps> <laughs> we're gonna put the box down. So the reason I love Cole Hans dress shoes is because they look great, 
and they also last a very long time. They're very comfortable. So originally like 250 bucks, got them for 79. You really can't beat that. So the next package, actually a little bit surprising. This is from Alpha Week, and I really did not want to buy anything from there because to be honest, when I think of Alpha Week, I think of like 14 year olds in high school wearing these gym clothes, but I needed new gym clothes. And I was just looking around and I, I really liked what I saw on the website. And then so what I tried to do is get minimally branded pieces. So we'll see, I don't even really remember what I bought, but they had some great sales. I think everything was like 50% off. I like that color. You like that? Mm -hmm. I do like that. Okay. All right, so we got a little tank top. Feel that quality too. It feels, mm -hmm. feels pretty nice. Yeah. Yeah, all right. So we'll try all this on for you guys so you can see. All right, tank number two. So it's the exact same thing, just in black. Mm -hmm. I wear size medium in everything. What do you think about that one? I like it. You, get, you know me. I like the higher neck. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. I'm black on black. <laughs> yeah, I'm Italian, that's, mm -hmm. how we, that's how we roll. Got these camo joggers, which I really like. Did you like these whole things? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they're more subtle. Yeah, minimal. In person. Cam yeah. Camo. So they're going to be size large. We'll see if they actually fit. I think that'll be okay. I don't know. They look a little big, but, you know, I got big legs. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Ooh, I oh, like some that. more joggers. So these are really soft. So these are a little bit different than the camo ones. They're thick. Yeah, they're, they're very warm for the winter. If you live in a very cold climate like I do, <laughs> it's pretty cold here, you know. These are size large as well. I think these look like they're going to fit better. The only branding is right there, but my shirts are long enough to cover it up. Again, I have nothing wrong with Alphalete. I just feel like some of the clothes that have too much branding on them, it almost looks for, you know, the younger generation. If you guys don't know, I'm 30 years old. I can't be hanging with those YOLOs anymore. <laughs> Another tank. So this is a little bit stretchy. Feel that guy? Oh, yeah. You like that? Uh -huh. yeah, it's just nice, you know, sleek, good design. I think this is like 10 bucks, something like that. So yeah. nice. Mm -hmm. We got a green. It's a little... You don't have anything in that color too. No, that's nice. Yeah. And I like that they're, they're a little bit longer. So I do like that. So those are all the tanks and all the shirts that I got at Alpha Elite. Again, this is not sponsored by any means. I purchased all this off the website. You guys saw the B-roll of me trying it on. If you guys want me to do an in-depth review, an unbiased review of Alpha Elite, you can let me know. I know there's a lot of sponsored athletes out there, but for me, I'm just looking for some gym clothes. I needed something a little bit different. Take a break from the clothes? Sure. All right. Before we get into more clothes, I do want to give a shout out to my buddy Zan, who sent me this shirt from, I think it's Zenny Athletics, Z-E-N-I, releasing December the 18th, I believe. Very high quality shirt. I like yeah, the color. It's soft. Yeah. So highly recommend that for sure. Instead of clothes, we're going to move in to something a little bit tastier. Fat and Weird Cookies sent me over their new Christmas cookies and I'm super pumped to check these out. From Brad and Aubrey. <laughs> Brad, you are so ugly, man. This is the Yippee Kaye. What do you think that means? I don't know. I don't either. Oh my goodness. That's gonna be amazing. Oh uh, yeah, for sure. The Filthy Animal. Oh yeah. Yeah? yeah. Get down with that? Yeah. Ooh. Naughty list. That looks good. That looks good. <laughs> the Grinch, M and M's. Holla at you, boy. I think that one's gluten free, isn't it? Is it? I think so. Uh, I, I could be wrong. I typically don't like anything gluten free. <laughs> I like gluten a lot. More clothes. What is this place called? Ever um, Everlane. And um, why did you pick these clothes from Everlane? Well, they're super basic and simple, like you like it. Yeah, I do. And they're like, like you can see on the box, like everything that they do, they focus on sustainability practices. So like in their factories, they recycle 98% of their water. Um, I've never bought from there, but I saw that they had men's clothes. Okay. Well, here we are. So yeah. what I asked Megan to do was go on the website. I was like, just pick whatever it is that you think will look good on me and I'll buy it. And we did. And I think we got some pretty good deals, didn't we? Yeah. I think, I think all so. of these clothes are like 200 bucks or something. I don't really remember. So first up on the list is gonna be this basic hoodie. And I think what you were saying is this would look good underneath that black bomber jacket. Mm -hmm. So just a white, yeah. white basic hoodie. I'm impressed yep. with that quality, feels good. Is this the exact same thing except gray? It looks thicker. Oh yeah, that thing is warm. Yeah, what so I think this one's thicker. Oh, I like it though. Yeah, that's um, nice. 
Yeah, it's just a different style. And okay, it's got like a plain blue shirt. I was looking for some button ups. That looks nice. Yeah, like yeah. Oxford. I think there's two Oxford, maybe one. Okay. Okay. Oh, this. And that you can put under, like you can wear like a white shirt under it and leave it, you know, unbuttoned, or you can wear it buttoned up. So okay. there's a few different ways you can wear so it. So just like a plain white t shirt? Mm hmm. It's kind of flannel yeah. yeah. I'm in the South now, guys. <laughs> but I really like this. This just screams comfort. That is nice. You like that? Yeah, I picked it all out. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so what would I do with this? What would I wear underneath it? Um, I mean, if I would probably wear it with, you could do like a black tee underneath and then black jeans, or you could just use like joggers and okay. you know, some type of t-shirt underneath. So those like Bonobo black jeans that mm -hmm. I have? All right. Yeah. We didn't get anything from Bonobos this time, but you guys know, Bonobo is one of my favorite clothing stores. Okay guys, well unfortunately the other stuff did not come in, at least the post office did not deliver it today, so you guys are safe from that. If you want us to do more shopping trips, let us know. We can absolutely do that. I think the value that we could add to you is having Megan take us through the store and telling us exactly what to buy. Because me, I am clueless. She is the fashionista, so I'll let her take care of all of that. A lot of stuff to put away. So, uh, cameraman, how much you love me? Huh? Huh? So yeah, we'll see if uh, I can finagle that one, but we're gonna cut off the video right here. If you made it to this point, drop me a comment saying, real rich homie. And if you made it, we will enter you for the December giveaway, but we're waiting to the very end because only the true rich homies are gonna be eligible. So thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch. You could have been doing anything, anything in the entire world, and you chose to spend a few minutes with me. That is pretty awesome. Please give the video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I look forward to talking to you guys next time.